Zimbraconda's presentation of Prep Mania 100.5 ESPN, the ESPN app, and Wisconsin on demand from Lodi High School. In the Capital North Conference, the Lodi Blue Devils, trying to snap a seven game losing streak, host the first place unbeaten in conference play, Lake Mills Elcats. Jesse Nelson along with the Dean Dennis Semrau. The team's warming up on the court here in Rock the Gym Night at Lodi High School as a wrestling meet concluded, delaying the start of our game just a little bit, but it's a packed house here at Lodi High School as we get set for tonight's game. The Lake Mills Elcats enter play tonight with an overall record on the season of eight and six. I mentioned that perfect three and zero record in Capital North Conference play. And they enter tonight having won each of their last two games and four total of their last six. A win tonight for Lake Mills would give the Elcats their longest winning streak of the season. They have not yet won three straight games. The Lodi Blue Devils, Four and nine overall record on the season. 0 and three in Capital North Conference play. I mentioned they ended on a seven game losing streak. Their last win of this season came all the way back on December 29th in a road game at Edgerton. And that was after they started the season three and three. The seven game losing streak kicked in. So Dennis Semrau, as you look at this tonight, before we get to those canopy wealth management keys to victory, how important is this game for each of these respective teams in the scope of where their season is here at the unofficial midway point? Well, it's a seeding game for one when you get later in the season. Another, it's the first of two matchups here. So you got some bragging rights. A lot of both of these teams, I ran into Dave Pauls, the Lodi football coach, out of the concession stand. And I said, yeah, I see uh, your son uh, Brady's, Brady uh, pulls the starter. He goes, yeah, we'll see how long he plays before he fouls out. And that was the <laughs> comment about how many football players on both of these teams. You look at it and uh, the physicality that Lodi brings. Uh, right now, their coach, Ben Leistico, said, yeah, we quite have not transitioned yet basketball. We still have a tendency to foul a little too much. But Lake Mills, it's the same thing. Uh, Matt Stenbroughton, keep an eye on him. He's a 6'4 junior, averaging seven points and about six boards a game. He was an all-conference player on both sides of the ball, looking to play uh, possibly Division I football next year. He's, he's uh, getting a lot of good looks. And uh, he's also... Uh, on, on the state track team, the 400 relay it was eighth last year at state, so there's there's a really good athlete there for you. But I think both teams, you got that competitiveness from football, and this year, arguably, Capital is one of the best, probably the best Division Four conference. Yeah. When you look at when the season started, four teams were ranked in the top ten. Columbus ends up winning the state championship, and all those teams are going to are bring that competitiveness. Unfortunately, somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose. And right now, Lodi's got three of those losses. But Lake Mills wants that conference title. And this is a very young team that it's going to be together for a couple of years. So uh, I, I, I worry about the rest of the Capital Conference. A.J. Bender, they're going to say, what? How long has he been here? He's only a sophomore, and he's playing like a senior right now. And he's got you know, two more years of eligibility. So uh, it, it'll be a fun matchup. A lot of the wrestling fans have stuck around. You know, some of the Sun Curry uh, United fans left, but to be replaced by uh, Lake Mills basketball fans. And uh, no better place on a Friday night to be in a high school gym. And rock the gym night at Lodi High School. Let's take a check of our Canopy Wealth Management keys to victory. Canopy Wealth Management believes community is everything, and they're constantly working towards the betterment of our community. That's why they've partnered with Gilda's Club, the Madison Capitals, Kids from Wisconsin, and JDRF. At Canopy, their clients' financial goals are something they're constantly striving to help reach maximum potential, which is why they work solely in your best interest. You define your goals, and they work towards making them happen with their comprehensive financial planning. Go to canopy-wealth.com to get started with Canopy Wealth Management today. Dennis Semrell, let's get started with our Canopy Wealth Management keys to victory. Let's go with Lake Mills on the road first here tonight. What do they need to do to get the win? Well, number one, limited turnovers. When they have 10 turnovers or less, they're a tough team to beat. Second limit, second chances on the defensive glass for Lodi. Again, physicality. Lodi is really going to crash, cr crash the paint in, in the on the glass and push the pace. Lodi is going to want to play more of a half-court game, but Lake Mills loves to run and they love to shoot the threes, especially coming off a break. And how about the Lodi Blue Devils here on the home floor looking for their first win in Capital North Conference play. And number three for Lake Mills ties in the number one for Lodi. Closing out on the shooters and protecting the lane when they drive. 
Lake Mills is shooting better than 40% from three-point range. I saw their game uh, earlier in the season with uh, Sauk Prairie, and they came out in the second half in it like four in a row and turned that game completely around. Number two is uh, feed the big guys in the post. Again, touch the post, kick it outside, and take care of the basketball. They average way too many turnovers. Those are your Canopy Wealth Management keys to victory. Lake Mills and Lodi on a Friday night. Rock the gym night at Lodi High School on Zimbraconda's presentation of Prep Mania. We're brought to you in part by Ridge Top Exteriors. Thanks to Ridge Top Exteriors for being a brand new partner of Zimbraconda's Prep Mania. And thanks to Ridge Top Exteriors with my wife Becca here in attendance with us tonight, Dennis. We're working with Ridge Top Exteriors for our upcoming project for our patio door and our front door. Their service is outstanding when they came over and did the measurements and consulted with us they were so easy to work with and to talk to it was unlike any other experience that we had as we went through the entire process cannot recommend them enough looking forward to them getting the project all the way fully installed here very soon love the team at Ridgetop Exteriors thanks to Bo and the entire squad over at Ridgetop Exteriors for being a proud partner of Zimbraconda's Prep Mania Rock the Gym Night continues Lake Mills and Lodi on the other side the opening tip coming up next on Zimbraconda's presentation of Prep Mania on 100.5 ESPN you're listening to 100.5 ESPN, the ESPN app, and Wisconsin On Demand. If you're looking to purchase, finance, or service a new or pre-owned Honda, buy local. Shop Zimbrick Honda. Their customer service is second to none, and you can experience it for yourself at two convenient Madison service locations on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Oil changes, brakes, alignments, and warranties. Honda's certified technicians handle it all. And if you need new tires, buy three and get the fourth for just a dollar when they mount and balance them for you. Zimbrick Honda Service Center on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Part of the Madison community since 1973. Shop Zimbrick Honda. Whether catering an event or dining in, I recommend North and South Seafood and Smokehouse. Jim Rutledge here, and from their slow-cooked brisket to their fish fry and everything in between, North and South Seafood and Smokehouse has earned our love on Rutledge and Hamilton. They're the official barbecue joint of our show, and they should be your first choice the next time you eat out. Tell them Jim and Matt sent you North and South Seafood and Smokehouse in Madison, Verona, and a forest. ESPN Madison is officially on TikTok. From now, today, until Friday, January 20th, follow at ESPN Madison on TikTok for your chance to win one of five ESPN Madison prize packs. All you need to do, open TikTok, follow at ESPN Madison between today and January 20th for your chance to win an ESPN Madison prize pack. It's that simple, at ESPN Madison on TikTok. Who knows, maybe you'll see Jim Rutledge dance on TikTok. Since 1956, Holman Lindsay Paints has been making paint in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. Because of their commitment to making great paint for Wisconsinites, Holman Lindsay has grown over the years to 26 locations in this great state. Headquarters in Sun Prairie with a state-of-the-art facility, Holman Lindsay has the paints you need to make your job better. From do-it-yourself to professional, Holman Lindsay has paint for everyone. Visit one of their local locations today in Madison, Sun Prairie, Middleton, and Janesville. You probably don't realize how many things you do with your shoulders. That is, unless you have shoulder pain. At Ortho Team Clinic Shoulder Center in Madison and Stoughton, Dr. Ashish M. Ravel provides comprehensive shoulder care, identifying the cause of your shoulder pain and personalizing treatment to bring you relief. Stoughton Health and Ortho Team Clinic Shoulder Center accept over 160 area insurance plans, including Dean Health Plan and Quartz. Ortho Team Clinic Shoulder Center, orthoteam.com. This is Monte Ball. Monte steps to the right, dashes, reaches, touchdown. You listen to 100.5 ESPN, WTLX, Monona, Madison. Zimbraconda's presentation of Prep Mania on 100.5 ESPN, the ESPN app in Wisconsin, on demand. For nearly 50 years, Zimbraconda's provided the Madison area with quality Honda vehicles, and the trusted staff of Zimbraconda's used car dealership will save you time and reduce your car buying stress by finding the vehicle that matches your style. If you're looking for a newer used Honda, visit Zimbrick Honda in Madison today or at ZimbrickHonda.com to search vehicle inventory. Two teams have 
Now experience the national anthem. Starting lineups being introduced right now at Lodi High School for the Lake Mills L-Cats and the Lodi Blue Devils. We'll introduce them right along as they do. First for the Lake Mills L-Cats in their road navy blue uniforms. White letters and numbers with a gold trim. Starting at guard, sophomore number zero, Ryan Horkin. Starting at forward, junior number one, Matt Stenbroughton. Starting at guard, sophomore number two, A.J. Bender. Starting at guard, senior number three, Liam Kerrigan. And starting at guard, freshman number 23, Brody Benish. Again, the Elcats, Horkin, Stenbrot, Bender, Kerrigan, and Benish. The Lake Mills Elcats are coached by Steve Hicklin in his 11th season. The Lodi Blue Devils in their home white uniforms, blue letters and numbers with a black trim. Starting at guard, senior number one, Jaden Gallagher. Starting at guard, senior number two, Keegan Fleischman. Starting at forward, senior number 11, Nicholas Hoffman. Starting at forward, senior number 12, Brian Meitzner. And starting at forward, junior number 33, Brady Pulls. The Lodi Blue Devils are coached by Ben Leistico in his third season. A little bit later than anticipated, but on Rock the Gym night, that's okay. We are underway in the Capital North Conference on Zimbraconda's Prep Mania. Lake Mills wins the opening tip, working right to left as we see it here on 100.5 ESPN. Jesse Nelson, Dennis Semmer out at the top of the bleachers at Lodi High School. Lake Mills sets up in the half-court offense, swinging around the perimeter all the way to the left-hand side in the hands of number three, Liam Kerrigan, dribbling back now at the top of the key near the mid-court logo. He passes left for Brody Benish. Benish, cross-court into the corner, now gets it back, it's Bender. Bender, one of the great players, as Dennis alluded to here on this Lake Mills team, the leading scorer averaging 20 points a game this season. Into the hands of Benish, open look for three, no good. Off the back of the rim, but an offensive board for Liam Kerrigan, and Lake Mills keeps it on this end. 45 seconds in, no score. Lake Mills opening possession continues. Swinging around the perimeter, back to the top of the key, Stenbrot. He goes right, open look, three, no good again. Off the back of the rim for Benish, and on a bounce, the rebound is collected by Lodi. They withstand the opening minute without giving up anything. And a pass down low, sails out of bounds, a little too tall from the top of the key, looking down low. That's actually number 13, Jace Kolinsky, a junior forward who apparently was getting the start tonight for Lodi. So I'll have to double check. I think we had a little misinformation as to one of the starters would be tonight. So we'll get a double check of that here coming up pretty soon. In the meantime, it is Lake Mills basketball. Still no score. One minute and 20 seconds in on Zimbraconda's Prep Mania. Three ball from the left corner. No good for Horkin. Rebound Lodi. Dennis, you said they want to shoot the three. So far they have. Yeah, three, 0 for 3. Lodi gets a two. Here's Jace Kolinsky, the junior, using the left hand off the glass. Good for the first bucket of the night. Lodi two, Lake Mills nothing. Actually, he's in for Brady Poles, and when I talked to Coach earlier in the week, he said he might have a, a game time change, and that was it. Look at that long three for sophomore A.J. Bender. He was three steps beyond the arc at the top of the key with a hand in his face. Decided to take the shot anyway and drilled it to give Lake Mills a 3-2 lead. Our scoreboard not updating the scores here at Lodi. Might be an adjustment they're still looking to fix from the wrestling meet earlier, so we'll have to try and keep score ourselves for the time being. Dennis, always an adventure here on Prep Mania. You never know what you're going to get at a high school gym. Off a screen, open look for three, top of the key, no good for Brian Meitzner. Loose ball is collected by Lodi, pump fake defender in the air. A pretty hard foul coming down. Of course, it was incidental, no ill intent, but a good job by Kolinsky drawing the defender in the air. I think that was uh, Stenbroughton, number one, who got up and got him for the foul. 15.33 to go first half. And now I gotta add it up, three to two. Lake Mills leads Lodi. As our scoreboard still reads 0-0. Right, the our officials went over to the scoreboard, to the scores table to see if they could get it. And they're gonna send both teams to their benches right now while they try to fix it. All right, so while they do that, I'll take a chance to remind you that Zimbraconda's presentation of Prep Mania on 100.5 ESPN is brought to you in part by Nations Lending. The team at Nations Lending Monona finds home financing solutions that are as unique as you are. Whether you're buying your first home, your next home, or refinancing, they've got your back. 
They'll act as your personal advocates to inspire the true sense of home ownership from drinks on the patio to blanket forts in the living room to the smell of backyard barbecues because that's how they help you home. Go to nationsmadison.com to get started today. Nations Lending, home loans made human. Dennis Semmer, I have not yet shared the magic number with you. Of course, when I do games with you, it's one of the fun things I always like to share. A secret formula that was shared to only me and everyone else that was in the class at Bradley University that the uh, Bradley Braves play-by-play -play announcer uh, Dave Snell shared with us. 98% of the time, team that scores this number first goes on to win the game. Tonight, 57. 57 is our magic number. And you might recognize that number because when you look at Lake Mills and Lodi, both of these teams defensively average allowing 57 points yeah, a game. Yeah, Lake Mills is, given, is scoring 65 and Lodi just 50. And that's part of the problem. Their shooting percentage this year has been way down. But now, uh, and we'll see, I think one of the reasons why uh, Kalinske also started, uh, Lake Mills is basically playing with five guards. So, uh, Lodi decided to go to a little smaller lineup. They'll bring Poles 6'4 forward, running back and a linebacker off the bench. Uh, son of Dave Poles, he was in a serious car accident, missed his whole sophomore basketball season last year, recovering, but came back out and was an all-conference football player this fall, and teammates glad to see him on the hard court after a year's absence. Scoreboard is up and running. The fans gave a little applause when they got the score corrected. And off the inbound, a travel is called against Lodi, so a little too much waiting around. Remember, they were inbounding beneath their own basket after drawing the foul. Mm -hmm. And after two seconds, they turn it right back over to Lake Mills. Three possessions, two turnovers. And that first foul was on Stenbroughton, like you thought. Elcats three, Blue Devils two. Lake Mills with a one-point lead. Shot from the right side of the lane, eight feet away, no good. Off the back of the rim and a rebound, Lodi into the front court. Pump fake, defender over pursuing number two, A.J. Bender. And Lodi had a momentary five on four advantage while Bender collected himself. They were not able to get an open look. So Lodi patiently swings it around. Over into the right side. Now top of the key, step in front of the three point line. Shot up off the back of the rim is too strong. No good for Fleischman. Loose ball, Lodi's got it. Kick it right. Open three from the wing. No good, too strong. And a rebound, Lake Mills. Coming the other direction with a one point lead. 14.45 to go first half, three to two. Lake Mills leads Lodi on Zimbraconda's Prep Mania. Yeah, and while we were in that last uh, time out there, a uh, couple of subs, Josh Klan uh, came in, 6'7", junior for Lodi. And also uh, Paxton uh, Krugman. Top of the key, three off a screen is good for Liam Kerrigan. Kerrigan knocks it down for Lake Mills, and it's a 6-2 lead. Elcats on top with 14-15 to go in the first half. Over on the right side, kick it over to the right corner. Number 15 is Paxton Krugman. Krugman, open look, decides to take it off the front of the rim, no good, and a rebound, Lake Mills. Coming the other direction across the timeline, middle of the floor, going right side, A.J. Bender. Bender gives it for Kerrigan, and Kerrigan threw an elbow, I believe, and that means it'll be a turnover over to Lodi. I don't know if they're actually going to shuffle the feet on that. Yeah, one. they're going to say he traveled. I thought he may have had a little contact there, but no, it's just a travel. So 13.50 to go in the half. 6-2 Lake Mills on top and Lodi off a little give and go action trying to feed it down low. Again, too tall for the intended receiver of the pass. Number 22, Josh Klan, the junior center, unable to collect it and it goes out of bounds off his fingertips. Couple Turn. of empty possessions yeah. for Lodi so far. Turnover, three turnovers here in the first six possessions. Defensively, they're hanging right with it. Lake Mills not getting many easy looks. And you mentioned how much they like to shoot the three, Dennis Semrau. They have done almost exclusively that here mm -hmm. in the first five minutes of this game as the ball's knocked out of bounds. Two for five from three point range. Missed the first three, hit the last two, back to back. Pass comes in for Lake Mills. Swing it quickly around the perimeter. Left side, A.J. Bender. Averages 20 points, eight rebounds, five assists per game. All conference as a freshman a year ago. Definitely one of the stars in the Capital North. Lodi with a steal, two on one in the front court. Up off the glass, too strong, no good on the contested layup for Meitzner. It was a great steal on the other end, but Meitzner unable to finish it. Lake Mills gets it back. Pull up three in transition right wing. No good and a rebound, no a foul will go against Horkin. They're gonna say he went over the back trying to collect the board. 
6-2, Lake Mills leads Lodi with 13.05 to go in the first half on Zimbraconda's Prep Mania. Jesse Nelson, Dennis Semrau at Lodi High School. Capital North Conference boys basketball tonight. Girls basketball on Tuesday, Edgerton and McFarland in the Rock Valley. That'll both, be a fun one. Both teams tied for the Rock Valley lead right now. Some great talent that we get to see in that game on both sides. Yeah, Edgerton, be really fun. Edgerton's on a 14-game win streak right now. Into the paint for Lodi, up off the back of the rim, no good for Brady Poles. That sat halfway down and somehow flopped out. No good. Loose ball stays with Lodi out of bounds. Doing the inbounding, number 12, Meitzner, standing on the I in Lodi as it's written along the baseline. Comes in cleanly, now Meitzner gets it back beyond the left block, backing his way downstairs. Goes up off the glass, again too strong, crashing the boards, hard contact and a foul on Lodi. Frustration down low for the Blue Devils, Dennis, because they've had some good looks and just too strong off the glass. Tough start to this game for the Blue Devils offensive. Coach Ben Lysico has just, uh, he's gone to five players off the bench so far, so he's played 10 players in the game. Just trying to find somebody that can put the ball, put the rock on the hole, and right now, it's spinning out, it's come, <laughs> going up, bouncing in and out, it, just about everything. It's like there's a cover or some kind of a ball, or the ball is a lot larger than what the hole it's trying to squeeze into. I don't know what it is for Lodi, but right now they are really struggling from the field. Lake Mills on the uh, offensive, uh, and a travel is again going to be called on the Cats. That's the third time they've turned it over by taking too many steps so far, and we're not even six minutes into this game. Six to two, Lake Mills leads Lodi. 12-15 to go first half, Zimbraconda's prep mania. Into the right corner, swing it around left side. A little bit of rustling impact. Still, the both teams kind of rustling with the score. I like that. Free throw line shot is good for Gavin Sargent. Welcome to the box score. The junior guard for the Lodi Blue Devils. Hits a bucket, much needed for the Blue Devils to cut it to two. Six, four. Lake Mills on top, still early here in the first half of Zimbraconda's Prep Mania. Stenbrotten. Pass to the midcourt circle, guarded tightly before going beyond the timeline. Nearly was stolen away by Lodi. Instead, Lake Mills resets. Bender dribbling with the left hand to the free throw line, now goes left into the corner. Number 23 is Benish. He finds Kerrigan at the top of the key for three, no good. But on a bounce, it goes right into the hands of Stenbrotten. And another chance offensively for Lake Mills. Driving right side, Bender lost it. Loose ball collected by Lodi. Chance to tie or take the lead into the front court right side. Number 15 is Krugman. Krugman goes back up top, swing it all the way around. Pulls into the hands of number three, Sargent, who just hit the bucket last time down. Bounce pass again to the top of the key. Action away from the ball. We'll see if it frees up an open man. Thus far, it has not. Pulls, swing it right. Fleischman down to the right block. Extra pass, off the glass, good. This game's tied. Brady Pulls got it to fall, and we're knotted at six with 10.45 to go in the first half. Nice interior pass and use the glass. It was about a three-foot shot. <laughs> that one had better gone in. Otherwise, uh, Coach Leistico would have been pulling his hair out. Looked like a good chance for a reverse layup, but a great job for the extra pass to find Brady Pulls to put it in good. Lake Mills three-point attempt, top of the key, no good. Foul, shot counts as it goes down with a whistle and a three-point play opportunity for A.J. Bender going to the free throw line. The leading scorer on the year for Lake Mills, a chance to extend the LCAT's lead, 8-6 with one more coming. Yeah, Bender averaging almost 20 points, eight boards a game. Just the sophomore, the point guard. Scored 17 a game last year. Will be the next one and be a thousand point score, I'm sure. Bender's free throw up and good. He has six of the nine for Lake Mills. 9-6, LCATs on top of Lodi. Approaching the midway point of this first half. Boys basketball on a Friday night on Zimbraconda's Prep Mania. Lodi chance down low, on, nodded around, no good. Lake Mills other direction, shot up and good. Made it look easy, Brody Benish in transition. The freshman gets another bucket. He's the second leading scorer this year for Lake Mills, 14 points a game. Gets his first two tonight. 
Don't see many freshmen as a second leading scorer on a team for a season, Dennis. No, his dad, Ryan, one of the assistant coaches, longtime head coach in the area. Over to the right side, Lodi now trailing by five, their largest deficit so far this evening. Number 11, Nicholas Hoffman, right side to the right block, goes down low, fastball left side, and a travel. That was a little bit out of control from the time the pass was delivered, and Lodi did walk with it. 9.31 to go in the half, 11-6, Lake Mills leads Lodi. You know, pulls on the travel there. Got the ball too far underneath the basket. Was trying to create some space and picked up a pivot foot. Lake Mills, the lone unbeaten team in the Capital North Conference at 3-0 entering play tonight. Lodi, one of two teams 0-3 in conference play. Watertown Luther Prep is the other. Trying to get in the win column tonight on Rock the Gym Night in front of the home fans at Lodi High School. Great crowd out here tonight cheering on the Blue Devils. Bender drives left side, fouled from behind. Shot no good. He will shoot two free throws. 9.05 to go in the first half. 11-6 is our score. Bender trying to extend the lead for Lake Mills. Lake Mills such a dangerous three-point shooting team. You want to close out on the shooters, but you got to be careful. You get there off balance in that case. Bender just blew right by the defender and drew the foul. First free throw is up and good. That's already seven points for the leading scorer on the season for Lake Mills. Elcats have been to the state tournament two times. Fairly recently, both trips in 2017, as the free throw is good. And then, of course, the one that Dennis and I got to see them earn when they went down to Monroe in 2021 and then got to go play at the Lacrosse Center, where Becca and I spent a little vacation weekend last weekend up in Lacrosse. Three-point attempt, no good. Love that city. I'd go back yeah. again if they had the state tournament. Love it at the Kohl Center. It's fun there, too. And a whistle as a shot goes. What's the foul here, though? I saw oh, the block, official block indicating a block. And they're going to say that that basket counts. I haven't seen them at it just yet. It was a great move by oh, Brady oh. Pulls down low. And they're going to say, no, it was before the shot. So Pulls does not get the basket. It remains 13-6. Lodi student section really wanted the call there. Inbound, quick shot, right block, no good. Batted around like a volleyball a couple of times, and it ends up in the hands of the Elcats. Crossing midcourt, number five, Ty Schaefer, the sophomore, was the one who got the rebound, checking in off the bench for the first time tonight. Brady, Brody Henderson, correction, Brody is number 10. He's also into the game. He dishes it left side for Schaefer, cutting into the paint. Now kick it back, Schaefer, left side of the free throw line, <laughs> dribbles back to the top of the key, passes right. A little two-man game going back and it forth there. Back Schaefer and, forth. and Henderson, they've been working on it all night. They had extra time before the game. And a big block as driving left side, A.J. Bender wanted to go to the bucket. He had it swatted with a foul shot, no good. But Bender will again go to the free throw line. Third straight trip down the floor, resulting in A.J. Bender shooting a free throw. He gets two with 8.08 to play in the first half. Sets, fires, and connects on the first. A couple of substitutions checking in for Lodi. Out goes Gavin Sargent. In comes Keegan Fleischman, the senior. A little bit of Tom Davis, the whole Iowa coach. You should sub every second. He'd have two and three guys <laughs> coming in. That's Coach go tonight. Just trying to, to uh, find whatever combination he can to try to put the ball in the basket. Also, our first look at number 24, Zachary Nyquist, into the game for Lodi. Nyquist working on the left side. Nope, here's a pass right side. Three, no good. Board for Poles, who's boxed out with a lot of movement, a lot of contact, and a whistle called. So Poles again, that you mentioned, Dennis, it's a physical team. They will draw contact. It looks like the wrestling match that happened before this. And uh, well, uh, we've seen a lot of whistles here early. Coach Lysico brought up a really good point, too. A lot of these guys spend a lot of time in the weight room. They're physically strong, and they get hit. They don't go down. They draw the foul instead of the foul being the <laughs> other way because they're bigger or stronger. It's the old Fernand the Bull, you know, <laughs> in the bull in the china shop. Number 12, Meitzner in the paint, uses a little spin move to go up and get a bucket to fall. A little turnaround jumper in the lane. Brian Meitzner, the senior forward, 
cuts the lead to 15-8. Lake Mills on top, 7.30 to play in the first half. On Zimbraconda's Prep Mania, left side of the floor, Schaefer goes to the left corner. Dribbling number zero, Horkin goes up top. Stenbrotten passes left for Bender. Bender shakes the defender to the free throw line. Pull up jumper off the back of the rim, no good. Batted around and Lake Mills gets it back again. Another offensive board for the LCATs. We'll see if they can capitalize to the top of the key, Horkin. Horkin kicks it left in the hands of Schaefer. Schaefer back up top three. Stenbrotten had a wide open look and he knocks it down. First points of the night for the junior forward, Matt Stenbrotten, and the first double-digit lead of the night for Lake Mills. It's 18 to eight, Elcats on top. Both teams playing tough man-to-man -man defense. Lora is just trying to do the best they can, but every time it gets kicked out, you gotta be closing out on your, uh, your offensive player, and they're not getting there quick enough. Bounce pass down to the left block, and another whistle is called against Lake Mills. Fouls are evenly distributed thus far in this game. Five against L Lake Mills, four against Lodi. Just a lot of physicality thus far. That's what you get when nine of your ten consistent players are football players. <laughs> that is true. Stenbrot, though, just picked up his second foul. That's a big one for uh, Lake Mills. Inbound pass, Bach, excuse me, <laughs> bonked, I guess is a word, out of bounds. And so it stays There's with your, Lodi. Your prototypical three-sport athlete, outstanding a football player, a state track performer, and then on the basketball court, just uh, shoot, we saw him just make that three. Oh, great movement away from the ball on the inbound, and then a good look on the run for Meitzner. He caught it in stride, went up off actually, the glass, good. Actually, it was number 22. Ah, it correction. Was Klan, you know, okay, Klan that was Clan on the run. Great look for him in the first points of the night for the junior forward. That's Josh Clan cutting the lead to 18-10 for Lodi. Lake Mills trying to retaliate, get back to double digits. Shot no good, but a rebound and a floater is good for Schaefer. Right place, right time as it was knocked his way. Caught it on the run, floated it up, and went home. 20-10. to 10. Lake what, Mills up by 10. That's what happens when he crashed the offensive boards. Second trip down in a row that Clan tried to go up with a little floater for himself. This time it didn't work, went off the rim no good. Rebound to Lake Mills. Into the front court with a 10 point advantage. Left side of the floor beyond the three point line, Stenbrotten. Wanted to go right, now instead tucks it goes left. Here's Horkin. Horkin uh, threw an elbow. Foul. And an offensive foul goes against the sophomore guard, Ryan Horkin of Lake Mills. 5.34 to play first half. 20 to 10, Lake Mills leads Lodi. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. 10 for an ID. You're listening to Zimbraconda's presentation of Prep Mania on 100.5 ESPN. This is gold medalist Matt Hamilton, and you're listening to A Good Karma Brands radio station, 100.5 ESPN, WTLX, Monona, Madison. Jesse Nelson, Dennis Semrau at the top of the bleachers at Lodi High School. Blue Devils answer on the other end of the floor. This time it is Brian Meitzner, number 12, who got the bucket to fall, and an injured Blue Devil stays down on the floor, coming back the other way. I hate to see that. With 5.14 to go in the first half, the score is 20 to 12. Whatever contact this was definitely occurred after the play was over. So the bucket for Meitzner goes. He's got four points, the first Lodi Blue Devil to make multiple baskets tonight. And trying to see if this is 22, Josh Clan. It is a little bit slow to get up. Appears to be something with the ankle, potentially. And he'll be walking off the floor under his own power. You always love to see that. Yep. Seems like things may be OK for Josh. It's been the third leading scorer on the year for Lodi. Six points a game, along with four rebounds. 63% from the floor on the season. Josh Klan. So Lake Mills has possession. They have to go the length of the floor as they had yet to inbound when that injury timeout occurred. 5-10 to play in the first half, 20 to 12. Lake Mills leads Lodi. Elcat basketball with an eight point lead working right to left as we see it at Lodi High School. Pass down low and all the way up off the rim and good. Stenbrotten again had a good look. 
using the size to his advantage. Good passing to free him up, and it's a 10-point lead for Lake Mills. Yeah, Bender with a penetration of the lane, and then uh, sneaking back door with Stembroughton. Off the screen, catch and shoot at the free throw line, and Keegan Fleischman gets his first points of the night. That was a good-looking play for the Blue Devils. 22-14 with 4.30 to go in the half. Left corner, Kerrigan to the top of the key. Here's Schaefer, Schaefer on the run, too strong off the back of the rim. Lodi catches and they want to run. Left side of the floor. Now picking up the dribble, Fleischman feeds it and driving inside, Brady pulls, not afraid of contact and he draws it there. Shot no good, pulls to the free throw line to try and cut the lead to six with 4.16 to go in the half. Pulls a starting running back and also an inside linebacker in the football team. You see the physicality right there and no fear. Attack on the rim. Brady pulls, wearing number 33 in the home white uniforms of the Lodi Blue Devils. First free throw off the back of the rim, no good. Lodi in their home white uniforms, blue letters and numbers with a black trim. Lake Mills in their road, dark navy blue uniforms, white letters and numbers with a gold trim. A seventh foul there for uh, Lake Mills. Lodi now in the bonus. Pulls hits the second free throw. A touchdown advantage for Lake Mills, 22-15. They lead by seven. Appro Left side of the floor, Benish. <laughs> Appropriate considering both teams out here. <laughs> and I don't know what the wrestling equivalent will be. We'll see if we get to that later. A pin, six points. If you're just joining us, a wrestling meet occurred before this in Rock the Gym Night here at Lodi High School. Delayed the start of the game by about 20 minutes from what we originally anticipated. A little steal near midcourt here for Paxton Krugman and as he tried to run into the front court, he was fouled from behind and that means he'll shoot free throws. Good defensive play by the Lodi Blue Devils and now they get a chance to cut into the lead with the clock stopped at the free throw line. As we saw in Monroe a week ago, Dennis, it's possible for a team to mount this comeback, but if you're going to get this advantage at the line, you got to make those free throws. Right. Uh, when I was talking to uh to uh, Coach Hickman, he said, yeah, with the threes, it's a lot of layups and a lot of free throws to try to compensate when the other team's getting three every time down. Back of the rim, no good, so the one and one is missed, and Lake Mills coming the other direction on the left side of the floor, batted out of bounds angrily by Brian Meitzner, the Lodi defender stepping in the way, able to kick it out to make Lake Mills reset. Inbound comes in cleanly, left baseline, now over to the left wing in the hands of 23, Brody Benish. Benish driving left side, free throw line extended left. Kicks to the left corner, open three, off the rim, oh. up off the backboard, off the rim again, and it falls in good. Not the highest percentage shot, but it does fall. And it's good for three as well. <laughs> that was, uh, I think that was Benish in the corner, right? It was uh, Benish to Stenbrotten. Actually, uh, yeah, Benish on the assist. So Stenbrotten actually the one who hit that shot for Lake Mills. 25-15 with 3.16 to go in the game. And then we got an offensive foul here on uh, Linz, number 10. So Lake Lodi. Mills will bring it the other way with 3.10 to play. In the first half, 25-15. Lake Mills up by 10. This matches their largest lead of the night. Left side of the floor, number five is Schaefer. Schaefer steps back again near the midcourt circle. He goes left for Kerrigan. Kerrigan at the top of the key, hands it off. And Bender didn't like what he sees, resets all the way back near the timeline. Steps back, steps back, now goes forward with 2.40 to go in the half. Bender into the paint, wants to take it himself. No good, batted back into his hands, tried to tap it back to a teammate, and now Bender's called for a foul as he was contested by a couple of Lodi defenders, and that means the Blue Devils again will shoot free throws. And Bender's first foul, yeah, and uh, next one is double bonus. That will send Keegan Fleischman to the free throw line, one and one for the final time in this first half. 25-15, Lake Mills leads Lodi. Lake Mills averages 65 points a game offensively, so they are below their average at this juncture. Front free throw good for Fleischman, so he'll get a chance at another. Lodi averages just 50 points a game, so they're okay with what I think this pace is playing so yeah, far. They, well, they want a half-court game, and Lake Mills wants to push the pace. They want 
be able to, to uh, spread the floor and get those open threes. Touch the post, kick it out, and then uh, Bender, such a great penetrator. And uh, when you've got three other three-point shooters on the floor at the same time. Second free natural. throw is good for Fleischman, 25-17, with 2.35 to go in the first half. Lake Mills up by eight with the basketball, working right to left. Open man down low is number five, Schaefer. Schaefer ran out of real estate, guarded under the basket. Had to go back over to the right side of the floor near the Lodi bench, and Lake Mills resets. Bender, top of the key, passes right, contacted, and a travel is called on Lake Mills. I thought that whistle was gonna come late for contact on the pass, but instead, it was who the man was passed to or who the ball was passed to. And uh, he took one too many steps and a turnover by Lake Mills. Yeah, with Ty Schaefer, I think he just shuffled when he was catching it, wasn't planted. Left side, Sargent back into the game for the Blue Devils. Down by eight, two minutes to go. Tough shot, but a good look right side. No good for Meitzner fading away with a step in front of the free throw, or excuse me, the three point line. Lake Mills has it with an eight point lead. Chance to extend. Right side, three, oh. good. Catch and shoot, Brody Benish. Knocked it home, the freshman. One of many players on this Lake Mills offense that can do that from three. That's a great combination, it's gonna be for the next three years. Bender uh, over to Benish for that uh, three. Sargent goes left hand up off the glass, good for two. It was Lake Mills' largest lead of the night at 11. Now it's down to nine with a minute 20 to go in the first half. 28-19 is the score. And a foul goes against Lodi. Didn't see who we got there. I think it's number two, Fleischman. It is his second foul, and now uh, they'll be in the bonus after. That was the last this. foul to give in this first half. Inbound pass comes into the backcourt in the hands of 23, Brody Benish. Benish for number five, Schaefer. Schaefer goes left, Stenbrotten. Stenbrotten in the left corner, dribbles twice to his right, now picks up his dribble, guarded tightly, needs to get rid of it, and he does so, coming over, jumping to get the pass as Benish. Again on the left side, Benish falls as he passes to the left corner for Schaefer. Schaefer dribbles back, couple steps beyond the three-point line. On the left wing. Hand it for Benish. Benish hands it again. This ball lost momentarily. Might have gone off a shoe. Play continues. Yeah, Bender off his shoe, and then right there, Stenbrotten to scoop it up. Lake Mills keeps the basketball now with 40 seconds to go. Left side, Bender into the paint. Kick it back. Schaefer on the run, left side of the paint. Goes back up top. Bender for three. No good. Off the back of the rim. Patient possession ends with nothing for Lake Mills. Lodi a chance to get momentum before the break and instead trying to drive downhill. Fleischman took off before he put the ball on the wood and that is a travel and a turnover. So Lake Mills maintains possession with 25.7 to go in the first half. 28-19 is the score. Lodi's playing great defense out here on 28 points here in the first half. It's going to be about five under, I think, Lake Mills average for a half. But they just can't put the ball in the hole. I mean, they're getting some very good looks inside. They're patient. They're attacking the rim. But you see for Lake Mills on the other side, though, too, they're, they're really, they really want to pound the ball in the paint and clear those uh, three-point shooters. And the three-point shots they're getting are wide open. 20 seconds to go in the first half. 28-19 the score. Lake Mills with the basketball and a nine point lead. They're definitely playing for the last shot. 10 seconds to go, right side. Here's Bender, Bender wants it. Trying to use a screen, can't get free. Two seconds to go, Bender has to pass and that shot didn't nope. get off. That was great defense by Lodi, forcing Bender out of position for where he wanted to be. That was, a, that was a Gavin uh, Sergeant, Sergeant number, number three. three. Yeah, yeah, he was great. in his grill. That was excellent defense by Lodi, and maybe that's the momentum. That line from Hoosiers, what kind of chewing gum? Dentine, right? <laughs> you can tell you what he had for lunch. 28-19 at the break. Lake Mills with a nine-point lead over Lodi. We'll be back and get the first half stats from the Dean, Dennis Semrau. Coming up next on Zimbrick Honda's presentation of Prep Mania on 100.5 ESPN. 
You probably don't realize how many things you do with your shoulders. That is, unless you have shoulder pain. At Ortho Team Clinic Shoulder Center in Madison and Stoughton, Dr. Ashish M. Ravel provides comprehensive shoulder care, identifying the cause of your shoulder pain and personalizing treatment to bring you relief. Stoughton Health and Ortho Team Clinic Shoulder Center accept over 160 area insurance plans, including Dean Health Plan and Quartz. Ortho Team Clinic Shoulder Center, orthoteam.com. The local team at Nations Lending believes that everyone has a right to home ownership, especially our educators and school staff. Jesse Nelson here. Another reason I'm proud to have worked with Nations Lending for my home loan is that they're now offering a $500 appraisal credit to any school district employee in Wisconsin. $500 toward an appraisal for any school district employee in the state. Go to nationslendingmadison.com to get started today. Nations Lending, home loans made human. Corporate NMLS unique identifier 32416 to verify mortgage company or individual license. Visit nmlsconsumeraccess.org. Nations Lending is an equal housing lender. If you're looking to purchase, finance, or service a new or pre-owned Honda, buy local. Shop Zimbrick Honda. Their customer service is second to none, and you can experience it for yourself at two convenient Madison service locations. On Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive, oil changes, brakes, alignments, and warranties. Honda's certified technicians handle it all. And if you need new tires, buy three and get the fourth for just a dollar when they mount and balance them for you. Zimbrick Honda Service Center on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Part of the Madison community since 1973. Shop Zimbrick Honda. Good Karma Brands is proud to be an equal opportunity employer. Our policy is to provide equal opportunity employment, development, and advancement to all current and potential teammates. If you are an organization that maintains a job bank, provides employment information, or gives job referrals, you may request to be placed on the station's mailing list for future career opportunities. To learn more about careers at Good Karma Brands, please email careers at goodkarmabrands.com. Since 1956, Holman Lindsay Paints has been making paint in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. Because of their commitment to making great paint for Wisconsinites, Holman Lindsay has grown over the years to 26 locations in this great state. Headquarters in Sun Prairie with a state-of-the-art facility, Holman Lindsay has the paints you need to make your job better. From do-it-yourself to professional, Holman Lindsay has paint for everyone. Visit one of their local locations today in Madison, Sun Prairie, Middleton, and James. When it's time for an adventure on the open highway, one quick call to American Family Insurance gets you headed in the right direction. Our travel peace of mind package is there if you encounter a bump in the road. From roadside assistance to rental car coverage, we have you covered. Find a local agent or get a quote at amfam.com. American Family Insurance. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, SI, and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. A wide array of opportunities abound at Waste Management. The work-life balance at Waste Management is very important. We have such a team unity. When an individual has to go to a doctor's appointment, other guys have no problem helping out. A lot of individuals here take pride in their work, which is something that was foreign to me from previous jobs. Not everything's on my shoulders. There's a teamwork mentality here. Waste Management is a place where I believe I can develop my skills and progress. Join the Waste Management family. Just search online, Waste Management Careers. Hi, this is Eric Name of The Athletic. Catch me each week with Rutledge and Hamilton right here on Madison's home of the Bucks, 100.5 ESPN and Wisconsin On Demand. Follow me, everything is on. Jesse Nelson, Dennis Semrau, Zimmer Conda's presentation of Prep Mania 100.5 ESPN, the ESPN app in Wisconsin on demand. At the half, 28-19, Lake Mills leads Lodi here on 100.5 ESPN. And it is time for the Great Dane Halftime Show. The Great Dane Pub and Brewing Company, Madison's home for craft beer and pub food since 1994. Four great locations in the Madison area. Super easy to enjoy one of Madison's favorite traditions. Personally, I love being able to play shuffleboard at the Great Dane. And they've all got the shuffleboard tables. They are fun places to catch the games if you're out this weekend. Family-friendly atmosphere with great menus as well. Check them out. Hilldale, Fitchburg, Downtown Eastside, Great Dane Pub and Brewing Company, Madison's home for craft beer and pub food since 1994. Dennis Semmer, let's get a check of the first half box score with a 28-19 lead for the Lake Mills Elcats. Well, Lake Mills led by A.J. Bender with 10 points. Yeah, I got about uh, I think three or four assists there too. Nice penetration. And uh, big factor for Lake Mills, five three-pointers. And Bender, five for five from the free throw line. He's made all five of their attempts. Nice advantage because on Lake Mill, uh, Lodi's side, 
Lora is three of five from the free throw line, zero three pointers. So as we saw last week with uh, DeForest and Monroe, awful tough when one team's got that advantage from beyond the arc. And leading scorer for uh, Lora, they've got uh, let's see six six different players have points. Uh, Gavin Sargent's got four, and Brian Meister's got four, and also Keegan Fleischman's got four to lead them. Those is a check of your first half box score here on Zimmer Conda's presentation of Prep Mania on 100.5 ESPN and Wisconsin On Demand. Want to give a special shout out again to this week's UW Credit Union Student Athlete of the Week, Kyle McCullers of Madison East High School. We featured Kyle earlier today. If you missed any of that, you can always follow ESPN Madison on our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, uh, we are on TikTok now this week. Dennis, we got to work on some TikTok uh, dances okay. that you and Strofe can be doing here <laughs> as we get ready for some Prep Mania games coming up over the next few weeks. Uh, UW Credit Union, their online and mobile banking goes above and beyond with top-rated service and security that exceeds industry standards. Explore innovative and intuitive ways to manage your money anytime, anywhere. Their online banking team and their in-house team of engineers and developers create digital banking solutions designed for you. Learn more at uwcu.org. We'll be back with the second half after this on Zimbraconda's presentation of Prep Mania on 100.5 ESPN, the ESPN app, and Wisconsin On Demand. If you're looking to purchase, finance, or service a new or pre-owned Honda, buy local. Shop Zimber Conda. Their customer service is second to none, and you can experience it for yourself at two convenient Madison service locations. On Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive, oil changes, brakes, alignments, and warranties. Honda's certified technicians handle it all. And if you need new tires, buy three and get the fourth for just a dollar when they mount and balance them for you. Zimber Conda Service Center on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Part of the Madison community since 1973. Shop Zimber Conda. Hey, it's Eric from Canopy Wealth Management. At Canopy, care, competence, and clarity aren't just a tagline to us. It's our promise to you. We're a fiduciary, meaning that we operate solely in our clients' best interests. And because we're fee-based, those interests are aligned with our clients. Using our comprehensive approach, we help you achieve your goals when it comes to your wealth management. Go to canopy-wealth.com to get started with us today. That's canopy-wealth.com. I was rolling my rig on a Crescent City run with my hands on the wheel looking into the sun. With a flash, I became temporarily blind by a plate glass truck I was tailing behind. Next thing I know, I'm in the side of a ditch with a bent rear wheel and a broken off hitch. But I was hauling again in just a short while because truck star collision is on my speed dial. Do you operate a fleet, whether it's heavy-duty 18-wheelers or medium-duty delivery vans? And does vehicle downtime make you cringe? Time is money, and a fleet vehicle on the sideline hurts because you need your fleet to be up and running 100% of the time. If one of your heavy or medium-duty fleet vehicles is out of commission, Truck Star Collision Center in Deerfield will get it back on the road quickly. Since Truck Star is a full-service facility, the complete repair is done in-house, saving you time and money. And remember, they're able to repair both heavy and medium-duty vehicles. Truck Star Collision Center minutes off I-94 in Deerfield. Call 888-400-1002 or log on to truckstarcollision.com. To talk about his experience with Ridgetop Exteriors, here's Madison area customer Tom. When our family needed a new roof, windows, and doors, we wanted to go with a company that we could trust. The team at Ridgetop Exteriors far exceeded our expectations. They communicated with us every step of the way and provided affordable financing options that fit our budget. Ridgetop Larry here. Thanks for choosing Ridgetop Exteriors for your home's next project. Go to RidgetopExteriors.com for a free estimate. Stoughton Health provides comprehensive and compassionate care to Stoughton community and the entire Madison area. From our sports rehab facilities in Oregon and Stoughton to our renowned ortho team with Dr. Ravel, Stoughton Health can help. Learn more at StoughtonHealth.com. We're on the Packers. This might actually be worse than what I thought was the worst case scenario. Because we're on Wisconsin sports. Get the worst draft position we possibly could without making the playoffs. Nobody covers the green and gold like 100.5 ESPN. Zimbra Conda's presentation of Prep Mania, 100.5 ESPN, the ESPN app in Wisconsin on demand. Jesse Nelson 
And the Dean, Dennis Semrau at Lodi High School. Lake Mills with a 28-19 lead over Lodi. Boys basketball, Capital North Conference Showdown on this Friday, January 20th. For nearly 50 years, Zimbrick Honda's provided the Madison area with quality Honda vehicles, and the trusted staff of Zimbrick Honda's used car dealership will save you time and reduce your car buying stress by finding the vehicle that matches your style. If you're looking for a newer used Honda, visit Zimbrick Honda in Madison today, or head to ZimbrickHonda.com to search a vehicle inventory. Dennis Semrell, let's get a check again of those uh, Canopy Wealth Management keys to victory and see how they're doing here. Canopy Wealth Management believes community's everything, and they're constantly working towards the betterment of our community. That's why they've partnered with Gilda's Club, the Madison Capitals, Kids from Wisconsin, and JDRF. Check them out, canopy-wealth.com to get started with Canopy Wealth Management today. You know, number one for Lodi is closing out on the shooters, protect the lane when they drive. They're playing pretty tough defense, but uh, Lake Mills with five threes. Feed the big guys in the post. They are getting the ball inside and take care of the basketball. Too many turnovers. Yeah, they had three on their first six possessions. For Lake Mills, limited turnovers. They're playing pretty well with that. Push the pace and limit second chances on the glass. Uh, Lake Mills has been doing a really good job on both ends rebounding. Second half underway. Lodi gets the basketball first, working right to left as we see it here at the top of the bleachers on Zimbraconda's Prep Mania. Blue Devils down by nine at the break. And the first shot of the second half is a three that goes down for Brian Meitzner. Took over late in the first half for the Blue Devils, and he is now the team's leading scorer just like that on the night. And Lodi's only down six, 28-22. 30 seconds in to this second half. Now contested shot left side on the run. Bender lost it. Lodi collects it, falling out of bounds, saved beautifully by number 22, Josh Klan. Good to see him back in there after leaving with an injury earlier and a travel called in transition as Lodi was trying to cut the lead down to four. Coming the other way, that was Jace Kolinsky who got the start tonight, the junior forward, number 13. Kolinsky tried a little spin move down by the right block. And he didn't get the ball on the floor, didn't keep the foot down, and walked with it. You sense, Dennis, momentum is with Lodi right now. Yeah, Lodi had three turnovers in their first six possessions. Only three the rest of the half. One was an on-offensive foul, so that's number seven uh, overall uh, for them th uh, tonight, which they've been averaging 20, so hopefully they'll, they'll keep that lower pace. Ryan Horkin. At the top of the key for Lake Mills in the road, navy blue uniforms, white letters with a gold trim. Step back, three on the run, no good on a catch and shoot situation for Brody Benish. And a rebound, Lodi, chance to cut it to a one score game if they can knock down a three. Not sure that's what they were looking for necessarily, especially right now with a wide open chance. Kolinsky passed on it. Coming off a screen left of the Top of the key is number 12, Meitzer. He feeds it down low, up off the glass, contested too strong. Offensive rebound, spin around, put back with the right hand, yes. Kolinsky put it in. 28-24, the closest Lodi's been since the early stages of this game. The Blue Devils also, if I'm not mistaken, Dennis, are on a 7-0 run going back to the end of the first half. Yeah, the last uh, basket with 2.12 to go in the first half for Lake Mills. And a whistle. 17 at that point. Sorry to cut you yep. off there, Dennis. A whistle goes against Lake Mills. So back to Lodi we go. And foul number two on Bender. It's a big one on the leading scorer of the night and the season for the Lake Mills Elcats. Down on the left side with the left hand up off the glass. It's good for Josh Klan. Lodi's back within two. 28-26 and a timeout with 15-37 to play in the first half. Zimbra Conda's presentation of Prep Mania, and this is shaping up to be a good one in the Capital North Conference. We'll keep it right here as Lake Mills has a two-point advantage on the road, but all the momentum right now with the Lodi Blue Devils. Prep Mania brought to you in part by Stoughton Health where they provide comprehensive and compassionate care to Stoughton's community and the entire Madison area. From their sports rehab facilities in Oregon and Stoughton to their renowned ortho team with Dr. Ravel, Stoughton Health can help. Learn more at stoughtonhealth.com. Dennis, what's gotten into Lodi here that they're able to get this close back into this game? Well, as Coach Lysico told me this week, we're really good when the ball goes through the hoop. <laughs> it's amazing. Wow, you can score. And they've come down, and they're three of four. 
from the floor and with one turnover here in the second half. Had an offensive uh, rebound, had it came out with a three. But the, the guy that's given him a lift tonight, I think, is Josh uh, Klon inside. 6'7", uh, junior forward. He's able to, uh, I guess, kind of mix it up. That last time down, he uh, it was a, a th one on three. He still got the shot off. And then, uh, as we said, coming from the backside, uh, was it Jace Kalinski came in and cleaned off the glass and got that uh, lead down to two. First time it's been that way since early in the game. Elkats basketball out of the break. Here's Kerrigan stepping back on the right side of the floor. Lake Mills only up by two on the right side. They are undefeated, the lone undefeated team in Capital North Conference play at 3-0 entering play tonight. Lodi, one of two teams yet to win in the Capital North at 0-3, but right now these two teams look very evenly matched. Pull-up jumper, free throw line extended left is good for Benish, and that will stop the bleeding a little bit as Lake Mills extends the lead back to 30-26. to And now an offensive foul goes against Lodi. That will send it back to the LCATs with a four point advantage looking for more. Lake Mills enters play tonight having won four of their last six games including each of their last two. With a win tonight they would match, or excuse me, they would reach their largest winning streak of the season. They have yet to win three consecutive games. And now another whistle against <laughs> Lake Mills returning the favor. The dueling turnovers. Offensive foul. Sends it back to Lodi. So one foul apiece for each team here in the second half with 14.41 to go in the game. And that's a big one for Matt Stenbrot in his third foul to power forward. 30 to 26 with 14.30 now to go as the clock runs. Down to the right block, good positioning. Shot contested up, no good. It was a good look for Klan, but he couldn't get it to fall as he was fading away a couple of steps beyond the, butt, the basket. Had two defenders in his face trying to knock him away. He had the size advantage, just couldn't quite get a clean Yeah, and one, look. Was, one was Sten Broughton, and he was not going to give up that rebound either. Diving effort by Fleischman of Lodi knocks the ball out of bounds in the corner to the left of the Lodi, excuse me, the Lake Mills bench. So tough spot to inbound from. All the way in the corner. See if Lake Mills can do it effectively. They bounce it in, and yes, it ends up in the hands of Sten Broughton. Stenbrod decides to take a three, no good. Nope. Or correction, that was actually Schaefer attempting the three in the corner, but regardless, it's no good. And here comes Lodi with a basket. Meitzner in transition, lays it up good with two off the right hand of the glass. 30 to 28, 13, 45 to go in the game. Lodi back within two. Top of the key, Horkin. Handoff, knocked out of bounds. Lodi's defense is pesky, and Krugman got in the way to bat this one out. Yeah, Coach Leistico uh, not afraid to use his bench tonight. He used 11 players so far, and a couple more subs coming in here. Trying to keep the guys fresh and uh, trying to find a hot hand here. And So far, so good early in the second half. A year ago, Lodi tied for first place in the Capital North Conference. Lake Mills was fifth. This year, these teams have essentially reversed position in the standings here in the early goings of this conference part of the season. Well, that's what happens when you graduate. Five starters and your sixth man. It's going to be a little bit of a rebuilding, uh, not a, quite a reloading. Pass down low for Lake Mills and a foul called on Lodi reaching to try and get in the way and disrupt it. Clock stops with 13-13 to go in the game. And the third foul here for Fleischman. Standing between the D and the I, as written on the baseline on Lodi, is where Horkin does the inbounding. He gets it in, and now Lodi takes it away, soaring in down low. That was Kolinsky who got the steal, and here comes Lodi. Open three for the lead. Yes! Brian Meitzner knocks it down, and the Blue Devils are up one. 31-30 with 12.50 to go. Retaliation three, and just like that, Lake Mills gets the lead back. Ryan Horkins' first points of the night, third leading scorer on the year, a three from the left corner, and the Elcats are up 33-31. How about another three for Lodi coming back? 
Nyquist, first points of the night. Zachary Nyquist. And Lodi's back up one. Lake Mills with a three. This is incredible. Brody Benish knocks it down. Four straight made threes, two on each end of the floor. It's a three-point party on Rock the Gym Night. We're expecting it from Lake Mills, but not from Lodi. That's uh, three in the second half after getting shut out from long range in the first half. The young fans to the left of you, Dennis yeah. Summerow, chanting three, 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 they want more. How about a two down low? No, but a block is called on Lake Mills. Looks like there may be an injured Elcat down at his number one, Stenbroughton. And that would be his fourth. The free, or excuse me, the shot was no good. Free throws are coming for Brady Pulls. With a chance to tie it at the line, he'll shoot two. 11.50 to go in the game, 36-34. Lake Mills leads Lodi by two. An incredible back and forth over the last minute or so. Made three after made three. That'll exponentially increase the scoring in this game. Now pulls at the line, first of two. Halfway down and popped out, no good. But that is the fourth foul now on Stenbrotten, so he's most likely done here for at least a five, good five, six minutes. And uh, Lake Mills loses uh, one of its top rebounders. Second chance at the line for Poles, also oh. no good, and soaring in to get the rebound is A.J. Bender. Takes it away the other direction. Lake Mills with a two-point lead in the basketball. Bounce pass Bender, pump fake, top of the key three. Nope, takes it down low, left hand, draws oh, contact with hand. a scoop off the glass, it's good. Bender feeling it as he's got a chance at a three-point play at the line. Well, it's not behind the arc, but it still counts as three in the scorebook if he makes the free throw. The super sophomore, A.J. Bender, taking over offensively for the Lake Mills Elcats. Four-point lead, chance to make it five. Free throw, good. Bender leading all scorers in the game. Lodi down five again, now after they had momentarily taken a one point lead on two different occasions. Left side, Fleischman, beyond the arc, passes all the way around to the top of the key, and an offensive foul away from the ball called on Lodi. Officials really spotting a lot of these offensive fouls here tonight, Dennis. I've seen that call a lot. Poles here with his second foul in a row. Yeah, Poles picks it up, you're right, and that's just his second. I can't believe that for how physical his play is that he's only got two fouls so far. And now another whistle. Bodies falling on the floor every which direction. This is incredible. The fourth foul called on Fleischman for Lodi. And so Fleischman will have to go take a seat. And I'm sure his presence will be missed on the floor here for the Blue Devils defensively for as much of a foul. part of this game he's been. Four straight fouls on, four, <laughs> on the same possession here. This time they get number three, Gavin Sargent with his second. And now Lodi has no more fouls to give. Just like that, there's a lot of time left in this game. 11.08 to play. Pass to the right corner, open three, off, way off, down and no good, but an offensive board for Lake Mills. That was a great job by number 10, Brody Henderson getting it. Now another three point attempt, no good for Kerrigan. Lodi gets the rebound this time, coming the other way. Here comes Sargent. Hands it off behind him by the Lodi logo near midcourt. Swing it right. Into the hands of number 24, Zachary Nyquist. Nyquist, one on one with the defender right baseline. Goes underneath the basket, kick it left corner. Long two, no good, and a rebound Lake Mills. 10.30 to go. 39-34, Elcats with a five point lead on the road at Lodi. Pass left side, back now to the hands of A.J. Bender. Bender left hand, spinning his way downstairs. Deflected before he could get a clean look. Send it out in front, and pulls. Wave it off, he traveled. And now the Lake Mills fans want Gavin Sargent to be called for a technical foul for hanging onto the rim, but he was definitely trying to avoid He's trying to avoid contact. contact. Yeah. So they're talking about it right now here. 
Sargent saying, yeah, I was just trying to avoid everybody. Looks like the officials are talking to him, saying, please don't do that. No technical foul assessed for hanging onto the rim. No basket on what could have been a potential dunk opportunity. After the dust settles, it is Lake Mills basketball going the length of the floor with a five-point lead. And, and suddenly, uh, from the back and forth lead, Lodi's foul trouble, six fouls, lost one of their leading defenders in Fleischman. And now they can't put the ball in the hole too, the last couple trips down. 10-15 to go. Lake Mills 39, Lodi 34. Jesse Nelson, Dennis Semra, Zimbraconda's prep mania. Down to the right block, working for positioning. Oh, How did he get beautiful. that to go? A.J. Bender drew contact, was on one foot, stepped back, and somehow got a basket to fall. He'll shoot a three-point attempt at the line to try and extend this lead further. It's 41-34 with exactly 10 minutes to go. That was a shot you try to make in horse and don't have a lot of success for it if you have to try to duplicate it, I'll tell you that. Shot no good at from the line, but Lake Mills collects the board, 41-34. Bender has it right side, now passes three from the corner is good for Brody Benish. Timeout Lodi, 9.48 to go. We'll take it with them. 44-34, Lodi trailing by 10. You're listening to Zimbraconda's presentation of Prep Mania on 100.5 ESPN and Wisconsin On Demand. Hey Wisconsin, it's Jonathan Taylor, pro running back and UW Credit Union member. Now that I'm always on the road, I need mobile banking that can keep up. That's why I use the UW Credit Union app. It lets me pay bills, send money to friends, and check my credit score. Whether I'm in Indianapolis or Exonia, Jersey or Janesville, Miami or Milwaukee, get mobile banking that gets you with UW Credit Union. Join today at uwcu.org. Federally insured by NCUA. We're on the Packers. There's better out there than Joe Barry. I think even Matt LaFleur knows that. Because we're on Wisconsin sports. That's why he got 99% of the blame. Nobody covers the green and gold like 100.5 ESPN. Jesse Dawson, Dennis Semrau, Zimbra Conda's presentation of Prep Mania 100.5 ESPN. The ESPN app in Wisconsin on demand. Suddenly a 10 point lead for Lake Mills after they were just trailing by one a few moments ago. Dennis, is this an 11-0 run for the Cats? That's correct, 11-0 run and uh, able to hit some threes. But again, Bender, his ability to penetrate and just create shots is tremendous. Off the screen, top of the key, three for Lodi is no good. Meitzner had a clean look, and it went all the way around the rim, but rolled off no good. Now, another three <laughs> for Lake Mills. Brody Benish, catch and release, and he nails it home. 47-34, after trailing just a few moments ago, the Lake Mills Elcats now have their largest lead of the night. And we get a turnover on a travel on Lodi's end. Call, you got to come up with a nickname for this uh, one-two punch of Bender and uh, Benish. Double B, double trouble, dynamic duo. Come on, now, Lake Mills fans, you got to come up with something because these two guys are incredible. They're going to be tormenting the Capital Conference for two more seasons. Think of it. Think of what they, they must have been at youth basketball uh, going up against guys their, their age. <laughs> right on cue, A.J. Bender comes down the floor, kept it himself, stepped up to the free throw line and nailed a two-point shot. 49-34, Bender have a night. 17 for Bender and 16 for Benish right now. Three-point shot for Lodi and Meitzner got it to fall. Uh, Much gotta, needed to keep the gym alive. Right, gotta take the cover off the basket. 49-37 with 8.38 to go in the game. That would have been a 16-0 run. Right side Kerrigan and a whistle against Lake Mills. And the Lodi student section still near capacity over there on the right side of the gym. Definitely happy to finally have a call go their way. Seems like it's been a while for the Blue Devils. Now can they capitalize on the other end and get this thing down to single digits? 8.30 to play. 49-37, Lake Mills leads Lodi. Rock the gym night at Lodi High School. Jesse Nelson, Dennis Semrau, 
Zimbrick Honda's Prep Mania. Three point Meitzner, got yes. it again. A one man band right now. Meitzner cuts it to a nine point game. Four threes in the second half. He's got 14 of his 18 points. 8.09 and a pass for number two Bender on the run. Couldn't get it. He was a little rejected by the rim. Got a little too far down low. Coming the other way. Contact off the glass. Shot falls and a chance for a three point play for Lodi. Just like that, the Blue Devils are back in it. And look who it was Brian Meitzner. Eight points here in this surge and now a timeout. And uh, Lake Mills. Yeah, and Lake Mills. Lake Mills timeout, 7.59 to go. We'll take it with them. 30 second timeout, 49 42. Lake Mills leads Lodi on Zimber Honda's Prep Mania. If you're looking to purchase, finance, or service a new or pre-owned Honda, buy local. Shop Zimber Honda. Their customer service is second to none, and you can experience it for yourself at two convenient Madison service locations on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Oil changes, brakes, alignments, and warranties. Honda's certified technicians handle it all. And if you need new tires, buy three and get the fourth for just a dollar when they mount and balance them for you. Zimber Honda Service Center on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Part of the Madison community since 1973. Shop Zimber Honda. This is Derek Engler. You're listening to a Good Karma Brands radio station, 100.5 ESPN, WTLX, Monona, Madison. Jesse Nelson, Dennis Semrau, Zimbra Conda's Brett Mania, 100.5 ESPN, and Wisconsin On Demand. You can hear the crowd here at Lodi High School excited after Brian Meitzner collects on the three-point play at the line after the Lake Mills timeout. 49-43, Elcats up six. Three-point attempt, no good for Benish from the left wing and a rebound Lodi. Dennis, this feels like a playoff game suddenly here tonight with the energy in this gym. Yeah, it does. Left side, Brady pulls, passes down into the paint, and a little hook shot good for Josh Klan. 49-45, after Lodi trailed by 15, they've now worked their way back into it, down by just four. Kerrigan throwing back to midcourt, had it tapped away. It goes beyond the midcourt line, but it's collected by Bender. Bender goes right. Pump fake Benish driving right baseline. Kick back. Oh my God, he made another one. How did he do that? He's double teamed. He's been kicking up on the run. It's a low percentage shot from the side, and he's still, still getting these still buckets to it. fall. This is an incredible performance from Benish and Bender tonight. 51-45. They're, they're having an individual duel out here. See who's going to fill it up the most. And again, an offensive, foul. an offensive foul on a screen away from the ball for Lodi. 6.51 to go. Back to Lake Mills, and the Elcats have a six-point lead. Navy blue uniforms, white letters and numbers, gold trim for Lake Mills. Home white uniforms, blue letters and numbers with a black trim for the Lodi Blue Devils. Jesse Nelson, Dennis Semrau, Zimbraconda's Prep Mania. Video producers Ryan Wollersheim and Hunter Vaughn with us here at Lodi High School. Audio producer Alex Gravatt and Chuck Stanger back in the ESPN Madison <laughs> studio. Good old Chuck. 6.30 to play in Lake Mills. Standing pat momentarily. Bender now puts it down on the floor, goes right, gets it right back. And a bump by Brady pulls. One and one, free throws coming for A.J. Bender. Clock stops with 6.22 to go in the game. Bowles picks up his third personal, and that was the ninth team foul on Lodi in this half. So it will be double bonus after these free throws the rest of the way for the Elcats. And Bender capitalizes, nailing the front end of the one and one. Big night for A.J. Bender. Bender and Meitzner right now, the big scorers for these two teams. Yeah, 18 and uh, make it 19, oh, 18, oh, get, get it did go through. <laughs> in, out, yep, in. <laughs> 19. I like the stream of consciousness trying to figure out if that actually went in. Kind of hard from this vantage point at the top of the bleachers. 53-45, cross court pass left side, a Lodi. Meitzner bounces to the left corner, now back to the top of the key, pulls off of a screen, number three is Sargent. 
Goes right, now back to Meitzner, who's got the hot hand at the free throw line. Pull up, jumper, off the mark, no good. Back to Meitzner for three, also no good. Missed it left, and a rebound, Lake Mills. And notice Sten Broughton is now back in the game. Got and that got rebound, that big rebound, rebound right there, Mills. yeah. And A.J. Bender. About six minutes to go, yeah, I figured he'd be back in about this time. And Bender giving him a little shove, a uh, positive type shove, saying, yeah, there you are, getting that rebound. Big guy. We need 53-45. Lake Mills basketball, eight point advantage. Into the paint, kick it over. Sten Broughton for three, yeah. yes. He was wide open from the left side and Sten Broughton knocked it home. 56-45 with 5.15 to play in the game. 10th three-pointer of the night uh, for the Yellcats, living up to the reputation. Remember, your magic number is 57, Dennis. First team to 57, 98% chance to win. And now a bad pass down low, too high. Sten Broughton stole it away. Here comes Lake Mills with five minutes to go. 56-45. Lcats up 11. Bender into the paint. Picks up his dribble, triple teamed. Finds help up top with Henderson, who gets it back to Bender. Left side, in front of the bench. Bender. Tripped was tripped, and that will mean two free throws for him. And at number four for Brady Poles. Yeah, now foul trouble definitely becoming significant for Lodi. We had a feeling it would, especially when they racked up four fouls in the span of about, what? 10 seconds. 10 seconds <laughs> earlier in this half. 11.37 to 11.19. Oh, 18 seconds. Wow, that was, was like boom, 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 and uh, Poles picked up two of them in that span. Bender's first free throw off the, oh no, it does fall in good. So Bender hits the first of two. That is your magic number of 57. It's a 57-45 lead for Lake Mills over Lodi. 20th point there for Bender on the night. And a couple of substitutions. Nine of 10 from the free throw line. Fleischman back into the game for the Blue Devils defensively. Second free throw for Bender, no good, 12 point lead. Put the jinx in there. 4.40 to go. Right side of the floor. Number 11, Nicholas Hoffman. Swing it all the way left for Klan in the corner. Klan comes back up top, over to the right side, into the corner, number 11, Hoffman again. Now number two is Fleischman. Fleischman for Sargent. Sargent to number 13, Kolinsky. Kolinsky over to number two, Fleischman. Kolinsky again, correction, Sargent top of the key. Left side, and now here's Hoffman. Hoffman goes right, kick it left. Thought it was an open look for Kolinsky. This is a long possession for Lodi. Yep, every possession counts, but when you're down double digits, you're gonna have to attack the rim here. They're still swinging around with under four minutes to go. Now a long, low percentage shot from the right sideline, no good, and a rebound to Lake Mills. Not a great possession, in my opinion, there for Lodi. No, and Stenbron's making his uh, presence known. A couple of defensive boards and hit a three. Just uh, get him out when he picked up his fourth foul, and he's going to be a difference maker down the stretch. 3.30 to go. Horkin shaking the defender, goes to the right block. Now bounce pass under the bucket. Ends up in the hands of Bender. Bender swing it all the way to the top of the key. Stenbron Boom. for three. There it is. And that might do it. 60 to 45 with 3.20 to go. Sten Broughton with what feels like a dagger. dagger. Oh, big, big time. And a timeout here now for uh, Lodi. We'll take a 30 second timeout with them. 3.16 to go in the game. You're listening to Zimbraconda's presentation of Prep Mania on 100.5 ESPN. If you're looking to purchase, finance, or service a new or pre-owned Honda, buy local. Shop Zimbrick Honda. Their customer service is second to none, and you can experience it for yourself at two convenient Madison service locations on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Oil changes, brakes, alignments, and warranties. Honda certified technicians handle it all. And if you need new tires, buy three and get the fourth for just a dollar when they mount and balance them for you. Zimbrick Honda Service Center on Fish Hatchery Road and Grand Canyon Drive. Part of the Madison community since 1973. Shop Zimbrick Honda. Honda. You're listening to Madison's home for Milwaukee Bucks basketball. Giannis knocks it away, comes away with a steal. Here he goes and lays it in. 55 points for the Greek Freak. 100.5 ESPN and Wisconsin On Demand. 
nearly 50 years, Zimbrick Honda has provided the Madison area with quality Honda vehicles, and the trusted staff of Zimbrick Honda's used car dealership will save you time and reduce your car buying stress by finding the vehicle that matches your style. If you're looking for a newer used Honda, visit Zimbrick Honda today or head to ZimbrickHonda.com to search vehicle inventory. Zimbrick Honda's Prep Mania, Jesse Nelson and the Dean Dennis Semrau at Lodi High School Rock the Gym Night. Not going well for Lodi here down the stretch after they took a lead here in the second half. Lake Mills has opened up a 15 point advantage matching their largest of the evening, 60 to 45. Lodi basketball, three point attempt, right side no good. Weak side rebound collected by the Blue Devils, but elbows being thrown, defender falls to the floor and an offensive foul is called against Lodi with exactly three minutes to go. And will be, uh, is that a, call that a player control foul? Or off the dead ball, yep. Uh, yeah, so they're gonna say it was no, no not, sh not shooting free throws for uh, Lake Mills, but yeah, with 2.55 to go, you start to feel the energy winding down a little bit here for the Lodi fans. <laughs> and a whistle again, timeout from the Lake Mills bench. It should be a reminder at this point that uh, we do not need threes. We don't need uh, three seconds and up. We don't have a shot clock. <laughs> and both coaches, by the way, when I talked to them this week, are all in favor of the shot clock. But uh, right now, you're looking for attack in the rim, layups, and free throws. Big trailers, big opportunity at Stoughton Trailers. In their 60th year, Stoughton Trailers has built a lot of trailers, and their customers want more. Join a winning team, immediate openings at new, higher pay rates on both first and second shift at their Broadhead, Evansville, and Stoughton locations. Assemblers, forklift drivers, welders, and more. Go to stowjobs.com. That's S-T-O-Jobs.com. Stoughton Trailers, big trailers, big opportunities. And Dennis Semrau, we talk about the final haul every night here on Zimbrick Honda's Prep Mania. And uh, we're definitely going to be looking at the performance from A.J. Bender. More on him in a moment as the ball comes inbounded cleanly into the backcourt for Lake Mills in the hands of Liam Kerrigan. And now here's Bender into the front court. Bender driving left side, lost control of the ball, taken away by Lodi, 60 to 45, they trail by 15. Into the front court, easy layup, left hand up and good for Gavin Sargent. First points of the second half for Sargent. 60 to 47, 228 to go, inbound to Stenbrot. Stenbrot against the pressure of Lodi, dishes it and Horkin is fouled and he'll shoot two free throws on the other end. Clock stops with 2.21 to go and Lake Mills still up by 13. So let's take a check of that box score right now. Dennis, how's Bender doing? Because, I mean, it's been an incredible second half performance for him. And on the Lodi end, I mean, we've got Meitzner as well, but let's right. talk Bender first. Bender, 20 points, 10 in each half. Uh, he's just been outstanding. He made all five free throws in the first half and he's four of six in the second half. And then uh, you also got Benish. Uh, Benish with four threes. Three threes in the second half, four in the game has been the counterpart. The other side, uh, Meitzner has been the only uh, scoring double figures pretty much all year for Lodi. He's got uh, 9, uh, 12, 14, 20 points at this point. While you add that up, I'll remind yep. everyone that both of Porkins' free throws were good here at the line. So at 2.15 to go. It is back to a 15 point lead, 62-47. Foul at the free throw line and a shot with one hand went up and good for Meitzner. So let's talk about him for a moment at the line, Dennis, as Meitzner has a chance for a three point play with 2.11 to go, 62-49 the score. They've got 49 points, he's got 23 of them, 17 on 19 here in the second half. And if he makes the free throw, make it 20. Meitzner in the half. is the team's leading scorer on the year, but he only averages 13 points a game. Way above that here tonight. 62 to 50, breaking the pressure. Two on one in the front court. Bender bounce pass, layup good for Liam Kerrigan. Easy two for Lake Mills. They're up 64 to 50. Transition, Lodi, yes. Kolinsky was left all alone in the paint and he was able to hit a quick jumper from about seven feet away. Inbound pass to Stenbrotten. Contact, no whistle. He finds the open man out in front. Kerrigan with another easy two. No problem when you gotta go to a press. Somebody's left Bender open. Bender with a steal and an exclamation Whoa, point. one hand dunk. On an outstanding night for the super sophomore, A.J. Bender. Back the other way, a quick bucket is good for Lodi. 
That's Kolinsky down low using his positioning. But how about A.J. Bender? Have a night with a highlight reel slam. That was left hand up and nothing but net. Uh, pretty good. He's 6'3", so he can get up. He's got some hops. But he's been the key all night. His ability to attack the, the rim, to be able to get in the paint and dish it out or to create for himself. I mean, he's had just some phenomenal, as we call it, horse shots. You know, <laughs> I wouldn't want to have to follow or play him in a game of a horse. It'd be H-O-R-S-E, five, five <laughs> shots, I'm done. And this kid can shoot. But then his counterpart, you know, Brady Benish, the, saw, the uh, freshman, six-foot guard, just deadly. He's got four threes tonight. He's got, uh, what is that, 12, 14, 16, 16 points. He's having a pretty good night, too. Lake Mills, 68. Wow. Lodi, 54, with a minute 29 to play. 14-point lead, Lake Mills basketball. Bounce pass comes into Stenbroden. Stenbroden finds Horkin. Horkin double team to the backcourt, finds Stenbroden, who's going to take it across the timeline, and picks up his dribble. Almost a little trouble at midcourt, but he gets it over to Bender. Bender now guarded one-on-one -on -one with a minute 15 to go. Remember, there's no shot clock in Wisconsin high school basketball, and so... Lake Mills can take as much time as they want. Bender found help from Kerrigan, who is fouled. Two free throws with a minute nine to go and a 14-point lead. Lake Mills, as the score sits, will improve to 4-0 in Capital North Conference play. 9-6 overall in the year. Their next game is Thursday at home against Columbus, one of the other teams that was 2-1 entering play this evening, Lakeside Lutheran the other. First free throw no good for Liam Kerrigan, the senior guard. That last foul was on Sargent. Uh, kind of frustration right at the end there. He is working literally his tail off uh, trying to guard uh, Bender. And we saw at the end of the first half how he was able to keep uh, Lake Mills from converting right at the end with his in-your-face in uh, defense. So uh, Lake Mills will know uh, there's a few bumps and bruises out here. They're going to earn this win tonight. Second free throw no uh. good. Lodi trying to push through it out of bounds with a minute three to go. Blue Devils will fall to 4-10 and ten on the year, an eighth consecutive loss. They have still not won since December 29th on the road at Edgerton. And more importantly, they will fall to 0-4 in Capital North Conference play. Dennis, you mentioned this could be a game that ends up affecting positioning for the playoffs down the road. If it's a game for Lodi with this energy from this crowd tonight, you think you might be able to steal a win. Instead, they might have a difficult road now as they continue the rest of the way. Yeah, and they're going to have to go to Lake Mills to play the second time around, and it's going to be a tough place to play. Lodi's next game Monday right here at home against Evansville. Under oh. 45 seconds to go, and a whistle at midcourt. and of travel. They're going to say Lodi's You know what, Dennis? Lodi's defense will keep them in a lot of games this year. They are really good on that side of the ball, and they're smart. And you can see right there, forcing the turnover at midcourt without drawing the contact. That was an incredible job by the Lodi defense at this yeah, stage. Let me see, averaging, Lake Mills averaging 65, got 68 up on the board, but they've been hard earned tonight. Uh, they had a couple of freebies here with the press and a couple open looks on the uh, fast break, but for the most part, it's been tough defense. And again, it comes back to that football physicality, the mentality of uh, they're not, there's no back down, there's no quit in this team. And, Part of it's the wrestling team, I think, right in front of them just thumped uh, Sun Prairie United tonight. Unfortunately for the uh, Hoopsters, just not able to ha come up with the same kind of firepower. Fleischman airballed and went out of bounds to Lake Mills with 34 seconds to play in the game. Our next Prep Mania broadcast, Tuesday night, girls basketball at McFarland High School, Edgerton and McFarland. Two best teams in the Rock Valley going in. And two of the top ten teams in the state in Division Two. Cannot wait to see that one. Dennis and I will have the call. Coverage starts at 7 o'clock Tuesday night here on 100.5 ESPN and a video stream available free on Wisconsin On Demand. And that's it for Gavin Sargent. Fouls out with six points. And a great defensive effort from him tonight. Lodi foul committed with 23.9 to go in the game. 68-54. It's Stenbrotten to the line. Ends up he had eight in the first half, six, now 14 for the game for him. Four threes from the 6 4 forward. First free throw is good to make it 69 54. 
Stenbroughton sets, fires, second free throw is good. 70 to 54, a 16 point game with 20 seconds to go. Right side of the floor, Lodi Blue Devils. Meitzner throws up a three, no good. Offensive rebound, put back no. Stenbroughton collects the rebound and he's fouled with 8.4 to go. 70 to 54, simply a formality at this point as Stenbroughton will get two more free throws. We call this padding the scoring. <laughs> Special thanks again to our video producers here on site tonight, Ryan Wollersheim and Hunter Vaughn, as well as our audio producers back in the Park Bank ESPN Madison Studios, Alex Gravat and Chuck Stanger. Sten Broughton's free throw off the front of the rim, no good. Also special thanks to my wife Becca for coming out tonight to Zimbraconda's Prep Mania. First time out at a game Let's with keep me. Keep an eye on you, that's all. Yeah, well. Make sure you don't get in trouble before your vacation. I, I, you're the one that prompts me into things, you know, Dennis. <laughs> Second free throw good for Sten Broughton, 71-54. One last chance for Lodi to put some numbers on the board. Three point attempt, no good. And the final buzzer sounds. 71-54, the final score on Rock the Gym Night at Lodi High School. Lake Mills rocks Lodi. LCATs improved to a perfect 4-0 in Capital North Conference play. Lodi falls to 0-4. That'll do it for Zimbraconda's presentation of Prep Mania. For the Dean Dennis Semerow and all of our ESPN Madison crew, my name is Jesse Nelson. ESPN Radio's Freddie and Fitzsimmons is coming up next. Thanks for joining us on Friday, January 20th. Lake Mills 71, Lodi 54. Zimbraconda's presentation of Prep Mania on 100.5 ESPN and Wisconsin On Demand.